It's the start of a four-game set at Endes Elvis Night. The Sox and the Cleveland Indians next. From Comiskey Park in Chicago, Fox Sports Chicago presents White Sox Baseball. Tonight is Albert Bell, a big hurt Frank Thomas, and the Chicago White Sox as they host Jim Tomey, Omar Miskell, and the first place Cleveland Indians. Hi, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Comiskey Park. With Tom and Troy, I'm Ken Harrell. Since we get set to bring you the first of this four-game set against the Tribe, Sox are 6-3 and three on this homestand. They have won six out of their last eight. And tonight, sending rookie southpaw Jim Parquet to the hill. That's right. Jimmy pitched very well in his last start against Kansas City. Hockey pitched six innings. He walked only two. And now that's going to be a key for him against his very good Cleveland Indian offense, one of the tops in all of baseball. Charles Nagy, the Cleveland pitcher tonight, has really been struggling. He's given up 19 earned runs in his last 16 innings of work. All right. Sit back, relax, and strap it down. First of this four-game set. And we'll be back with the rest of the starting lineups right after this. Fox Sports Chicago's coverage of Chicago White Sox baseball is brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places. Heineken, route true since 1886. Seek the truth. The new Dodge. From cars to minivans to trucks, it's about change. The new Dodge. Discover Car. It pays to discover. Except it where you see the Nopus sign. ComEd, the official energy company of the Chicago White Sox. ComEd, what do you do with your power? And by Ameritech. In a world of technology, people make the difference. This week on Bull Sox Underground, Sammy who? Our Southside hitman has a mean streak of his own going in July. Then, grab your blue suede shoes, don't be cruel, and prepare to get all shook up at Comiskey on Elvis Night. Plus, Chris Novak goes from player to coach by instructing kids at the White Sox Training Center. All that, the week in review, and much more on Bull Sox Underground. Sunday at 11.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. Were you born without a soul? Excuse me? You don't know how to love, do you? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. It's just an oil filter. Just an oil filter? Look, nothing stops more dirt than America's number one brand of oil filter, Fram. Now get out of here. <laughs> how do you live with yourself? Fram oil filters. Pay a little more now or pay a lot later. What do you get from your agent for all that money you overpay on car insurance? Another year to wonder why. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This man represents all the people who switched their car insurance to GEICO last week. Sir, please raise your hand 10,000 times. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Tommy? Yeah. Becky Swanson's big brother says monsters live under a little kid's bed. Becky Swanson's brother's dumb. Besides, light scare monsters away. Oh. Mm, Tommy? He says they live in closets, too. These boys warded off countless monsters for nine straight hours. <laughs> Calm, Ed. What do you do with your power? Good evening and welcome back to Comiskey Park in Chicago for the first of four between the White Sox and the first place Cleveland Indians. As you look at the American League Central race, the Indians walking away with it right now. They're 11 and a half games ahead of the Kansas City Royals. 11 and a half, same over the Twins. The White Sox are 13 back and Detroit brings up the rear in the division. Mike Hargrove is the skipper for the Tribe. And he's got a very good lineup. I'll tell you, they are power packed from top to bottom. And here's what they look like tonight. Leading off in center field, Kenny Lofton. Batting second at shortstop. This guy can really pick it. Omar Vizquel. Manny Ramirez plays right field. He'll hit third. Cleanup man, first baseman, Jim Tomey. Travis Fryman is at third base in the fifth spot, followed by left fielder, Mark Witten. David Justice is the DH. He's going to hit seventh. Batting eighth behind the plate is veteran Pat Borders. And bringing up the rear at second, David Bell. And on the mound for the Sox is 23-year-old left-hander Jim Parquet. Jimmy, in 
Eight starts is two and two with a 572 earned run average on the year. 49 hits allowed in 39 in the third. He has walked 25 while striking out 23. Defensively, the Sox lined up with Albert Bell in left field, Mike Cameron in center, and Maglio Ordonez in right. Robin Vettur returns to third base. Mike Caruso is at shortstop. Ray Durham plays second, and Will Cordero is the first baseman. Veteran Chad Kruder behind the plate, and Jim Parquet, the rookie, on the mound. And the weather tonight is perfect. And I mean that 77 degrees at game time humidity 64 percent wind out of the east at 13 fair and pleasant is the forecast for tonight in Chicago. The umpires are good friends in blue Joe Brinkman is at home plate Marty Foster at first Eric Cooper is at second base and Tim Welke is the third base umpire Jim Parquet pitched very well no decision on Sunday against the Kansas City Royals he worked six quality innings two runs eight hits he walked two while striking out four. And he is going to have to throw strike one to this Cleveland Indian team because if you get behind them, they can beat your brains in. They get that 2 0 3 1 situation, and they are as good as anyone offensively. There's Jerry Manuel, the skipper for the White Sox. He has seen his team play much better baseball since the All Star break. And there you see his record 41 and 54. But since the break, Sox have a 3-2-2 team earned run average in the second half. That's fifth in the American League over that time period. Starters and relievers have been both doing much better. Starters with a 3-5-2 ERA. So hopefully more of the same this evening. And it is Elvis night. And speaking of Elvis, here's a hunk of hunk of burning love, the Hawker Root. All right, big guy, the Whipperoo. Thank you very much. <laughs> And once again, welcome to White Sox baseball right here on Fox Sports Chicago. First of this four game a weekend series and also a Monday. Kenny Lofton, 31 year old center fielder, will lead it off, hitting it 278, eight homers. He has driven in 44. Now field around to the left as the first pitch of the ball game. That's taken down low. This is the sixth meeting of the year between these two ball clubs. Cleveland holds a 3 2 edge. Indians come in with an 11 and a half game lead in the American League Central. And there's a shot base hit in the center field. So good speed aboard. He has 28 stolen bases. And Kenny Lofton is not afraid to hit against left handed pitching. Boy, that pitch right there. He got it. Hands up above the ball. Just tomahawks this one in the left center field. On the inner half of the plate, inside out stroke. That'll work. Well, Wimpy, you brought a very, very pertinent and germane point to this game with Parquet. He better get on top. First pitch strike is almost critical against this offensive club. They have a good balance in their lineup. They got some good fastball hitters, got some good breaking ball hitters. And they're strong up and down. <laughs> Look at those mutton chop sideburns. He's everywhere. Oh, Parquet just a little commercial toss over the first. Indians hitting at 279 as a club. They have a 4.01 team ERA. Sox at 268 and a 5.64 team ERA. A change up down low and the count even said one. And he's been scuffling a little bit. They've lost three in a row. But that record of 53 and 40. I'll tell you this if the Sox or somebody in the Central this year could have played decent baseball, there wouldn't be an 11 and a half game lead because just 13 games over with an 11 and a half game lead. Yeah, that's something's ridiculous. wrong with that picture. Yeah. Oh, you're so right. Lofton, decent over there at first base with that lead as that pitch foul back. Another change in the count one and two. Manny Ramirez on deck, and as Omar Vizquel. You know he's only committed one error all year. He can pick it. Yeah, he's a great defensive player. He certainly is. One of the best. Meanwhile, Cleveland is just 14 and 12 against left-handed starters this year. 
Well, you think, you know, with Justice and Lofton, of course, they hang in there very well, but they just match up a lot better against right handed pitching. Tops that one foul over into the Sox dugout. So the count one and two. Well, the Indians, we just mentioned, for the most part, having, having it their own way in 98. Not playing that well. But they can hit. Cruder puts the number one down, moves inside, get it in there. Jimmy. Now he's going to go over to first base. And all of us here at Fox Sports Chicago would like to welcome our affiliate, Prime Cable, and all our viewers in the great city of Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Chicago yes. yes. They have a lot of my money. No, they don't. Yeah, they, they, they do. My money. <laughs> Birthplace of Sarah Meyer, Francesco O'Hearn. Right. That's a great city, isn't it? Yes, it is. Parquet very, very deliberate. When somebody can run his own bases, he gasses him up upstairs. He's gone. He'll grab some bench, and that's out number one. I like it. Jim Parquet's got to be proud of that fastball. He wants to throw that change. Well, you get that change up up, and that's going to get hit a long way. But right there, that heater upstairs, that's tough to get to at 90 miles an hour. And he is so deceptive, he doesn't look like he can get it up there because of his size and his stature and even his delivery. Sneaky. Here's the right fielder, Manny Ramirez. At 299, 20 homers, 77 driven in. And he now 26 years old as the outfield swings around to the right. There's a two hopper venture up with it. Durham, yeah, rack him up around the horn, five to four to three, and they'll do it. So after having a play, it's Cleveland nothing, and the good guys coming to bat. Oh. Want to get away? Southwest has your ticket to freedom. For only $99 or less, you can fly anywhere Southwest Airlines flies when you purchase by July 23rd. You are now free to move about the country. Look inside a new Dodge Ram conversion van and you'll find a virtual home on wheels. But take away features like the video system, captain's chairs, and plush interior, and you'll find the remarkable new Dodge Ram van with a more powerful Magnum V8 and strong unibody construction. After all, even a home on wheels should be built on a solid foundation. And with $1,500 cash back, you can start construction right away. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Why are these things called answering machines? They don't have all the answers. They can't tell me who was on call waiting while I was talking to my boss, or if anyone called while I was online. That's why I'm getting Voicemail 98. It's from Ameritech. It takes messages all the time. You don't. Voicemail 98 from Ameritech is just $4.95 a month. Call now and get a 30-day money-back guarantee. There's nothing to lose. Get the message? I'm finally getting mine. No score, bottom of the first inning here at Comiskey Park on a wonderful evening for baseball. And here's the White Sox lineup for tonight. Leading off at second base, Ray Durham batting second at shortstop, Mike Caruso. Frank Thomas, DH, and bats third. See, he's hitting 360 against Nagy in his career. Middle third of the lineup will feature Albert Bell in left field, Robin Ventura at third base, and Mags Ordonez in right, the bottom third of Will Cordero at first, center fielder Mike Cameron, and behind the plate, Chad Cruder. And Charles Nagy, the 31-year-old right-hander, who now resides in Westlake, Ohio, 19 games, 7 and 6, with a 5.82 earned run average. 157 hits, that's a bunch. 119 innings, just 37 walks and 63 strikeouts and 26 homers given up. Yes, he has. That's a lot of home runs and 19 starts. As Ray Durham will lead it off, and before we show you our picks to click, you at home select yours. Well, I was talking with some Cleveland people prior to the game with you. They said he has just been awful out there. Said he is 
Not pitching inside at all. Ooh. Falling behind in the counts. And he has been very short. He's one and one against us this year. Both times he has been short on his fastball. Yeah. Yeah. No, he, he didn't look anywhere close to the way he did a couple years ago. And he was a very dominating pitcher oh, in this yeah. league. One of the better ones. Yes, he was. That 2 0 pitch popped up into center field. Kenny Lofton comes off fighting that win. And that's out number one. Well, and here's the way the tribe looks on defense. Witten, Lofton, and Ramirez in the outfield. Tryman, Vizcal, Bell, and Tomey are the infielders. Pat Borders. Well, he's been on a few teams. So is Witten. We had to match those two guys up. And Charles Nagy on the mound. I wonder if they got all their moving money. Do you think? I know they did. Jeez. I know somebody that didn't. I'm not going to sleep Sitting tonight. to my right. Mike Caruso stands in hitting a 317 four homers. He has driven in 30. Mike has faced Nagy six times. He has one hit fouls that fastball back. Nagy 96 and 71 in his career. Eight and ten lifetime against the Sox. There's a chopper. The scale. The smooth the scale. Oh. And he just does get it. Now Caruso is about as fast as anyone going down that first baseline. The scale just makes everything look easy. Well, he knows the speed. He got him. Good that call by Marty Foster. So here's the big hurt. Frank hitting a 272, 15 long ones, 59 knocked in. He has faced Nagy 50 times, has 18 hits, 15 of them have stayed in the ballpark. Is this going to be a very quick one, two, three inning? And after one, no score. Fox Sports News, prime time. When they hit the road, they feel right at home. Tonight, a look at baseball's road warriors. What makes them so tough when they play away? Only on Fox Sports News primetime. Let's crunch some numbers on America's best-selling minivan, Dodge Caravan. Right now, every caravan comes with remarkably low 1.9 financing, or up to $1,500 cash back on Grand Caravan. Or on this caravan, subtract $1,250 cash back, hit total, and your price is under $16,900, making it America's lowest-priced minivan. And imagine what all these savings can do for your bottom line. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Hey, isn't that Ann Werner over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's on the game room with Chet. <laughs> hey, Cooley, why don't you go over there and talk to her? Well, may maybe I will. Get over there, man. <clears throat> Get in there. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, I was just wondering if maybe you'd like to um, tell me how many RBIs Frank Thomas had last season? 125. Good. Thanks. Sure. <clears throat> so? I got a number. Jim Rome on interleague play. Stadium sell out. The battles are epic. How is this bad for baseball? Rome on Lawrence Phillips. The Dolphins had better cut him outright. LP is not the next Jim Brown. Apparently, he's well on his way to becoming the next OJ Simpson. Rome on the NBA lockout. <laughs> Look, debating the merits of a hard versus a soft salary cap is one thing, but fighting for the right to smoke dope is ridiculous. The last word. Weeknights on Fox Sports Chicago. The central leading tribe come to town. Monday night at 6.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. No score, top of the second inning. For the Indians, it'll be Tommy Freiman, Witten to face Jim Parquet making his first ever appearance against the Cleveland Indians. Tommy hitting a 322, 24 long words, and 74 driven in. There's good first pitch fastball strike. Oh boy. Park. Yeah. Those are typical numbers against the White Sox for Tommy. Look at this. No, 444. Better? He, yeah, he's hit us harder than that. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, he lined out a lot. Fouls that breaking ball away and the count very quickly. Nothing in two. 
American League slate of action will show New York at Toronto, Detroit host Boston, Tampa Bay at Texas, Baltimore at Anaheim. So we lose Mariners are hosting the Royals and Minnesota at Oakland. Got him on the outside corner. He aced him. Tommy's gone. And that's the second strikeout for Parquet. Well, Tommy's right on top of the plate. But Chad didn't move his glove. And our supervision will take. Oh, he just painted him. Right on the outside edge. Of the outside part. That's why they have that black part on the plate. That's right. Here's Travis Fryman hitting at 272, 18 homers and 62 driven in. Got off to a horrendous start, but now has really picked it up. Takes first pitch strike. Now he's swinging the bat a lot better. 314 in his last 10 games with 13 runs batted in and five homers. That's good. And 321 since the latter part of June. One and one the count. Action over in the National League shows the Fighting Fish taking on the Cubs down in Florida. San Diego at Cincinnati. Montreal hosting the Pirates. Milwaukee takes on the Braves down at Turner Field. Philadelphia at New York. San Francisco at Houston. St. Louis hosts the Dodgers. And the Diamondbacks are playing host to the Rockies. A pitch inside. Two balls and a strike. Well, the last time we saw Travis Fryman, if you look at his numbers against lefties, that's good. 321 with 15 homers against right-handers. He had an open stance and he was off the plate. He looks like he's going back to his style that he had when he was with the Tigers. Good fastball. He was tardy. Well, we figured at the time, and we I think we mentioned it, that he wouldn't be in that open stance very long. No, he just looked bad in it. it just wasn't him. Of course, when he was with the Tigers there for a long time, he really had a severely closed stance. Yes. He's evened it out a little bit more, but he is slightly, slightly closed right now. Good try by Parquet. Didn't get it, and the count goes full. Elvis night here at Comiskey Park, and after the game, Elvis is of the sky are going to be parachuting into Comiskey Park. Plus, there's going to be a tremendous fireworks show. So if you're in the area, come on out. Good change right there. Had him out in front. Good motion. Trent Carlini, the number one Elvis in the world today. Yeah, he'll be uh, performing. And last year they had him between innings too, on the dugout. He's going to do a little work, I believe, between innings in this ball game. He's good. The payoff pitch. That's low ball four. So the first walk issued by Parquet comes with one out here in the top of the second. That'll bring up the switch hitting Mark Whitten. And Jimmy Parquet, fastball 89-91, is curve and a changeup. But most important, he's got to throw strike one. Here's big Mark Whitten. I still remember that haymaker he threw to Jack McDowell. <laughs> he didn't throw it, he landed it. He did, and Jack, his knees buckled and everything, but he didn't go down. No. That was a surprise. Takes ball one. Oh, Witten hits bombs out of here in BP. Oh, he can do that. What did he hit? Four or five in one game? He was with the Cardinals, I believe. He, you got to throw this guy's fastballs in. He wants it away. And at one time had probably the best arm in baseball. Yeah. Checks it up, takes the strike, and the count evens at one. He is huge. He is a very large man. The Indians with a whole ton of roster changes this year. They really had some movement on that ball club. Yeah. Now I feel just about straight up. As that's down low. Two and one the count. Top of the sixth inning at Tiger Stadium. Two two tie. Red Sox. Top of the fifth in Toronto. One one tie. Yankees. Just a normal lead by Fryman. There's a change up out in front. And the count evens at two with David Justice on deck. It's a 
pretty good team pretty good lineup when you can throw David Justice in that number seven spot. Two two pitch. So a full count. We'll see what Hargrove wants to do with Ryman, who has five for eight stolen bases. Jeff Newman, the coach at third for Cleveland. And as you look at Al Bumbry, left hand hitting outfielder for the Orioles. Yes, he got him. Call third strike. That is number three for Parquet. Two gone. His fastball changeup is the way he went after Witt, but boy, that last pitch was just a laser. 90 miles an hour right on the outside corner. That's going to get a lot of people. So here's Justice, 32 year old veteran, hitting at 287, 13 homers, 53. Got off to a big, big start and it's cooled off. Looks at that fastball upstairs. Yeah, it appeared the start he got off to Wimpy, he was going to hit 300 plus, maybe 40 home runs. Yeah. Driving 120. Yeah, thinking about an MVP or something like that. Yeah. That's how good he looked that first month of the season. Actually, first couple of months. There goes the runner. He had a good jump right there as that pitch fouled away to even account at one. Fryman was going from a dead stop. Cooter would have had a pretty good shot at throwing him out. Justice usually really solid against left-handed pitching. He's just hitting 250 against Southpaws this year. Lays off that. Two balls and a strike. The Cardinals leading the Dodgers 1-0. St. Louis hitting in the bottom of the first inning. A home run. John Drysdale Jr. tells us it was Mark McGuire, and he is correct. All oh, right. Number 41. That He's ball hit hard. Nice play by Cordero. Steps on the bag, and it'll retire the side. Nothing across. One left after an inning and a half. No score. Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. Flying to the New England area for business? If these 12 reasons don't convince you to fly Southwest Airlines to Providence or Manchester, maybe this will. Call 1-800-I-FLY-SWA. You are now free to move about the country. Arguably the most luxurious ride of any sport utility vehicle in the world. Car and driver. Quieter than the Bentley Continental T. Road and track. Best luxury sport utility vehicle and in initial quality in a tie. J.D. Power & Associates. At Infinity, we don't like to honk our own horn. We prefer to let others honk it for us. The Infinity QX4. Own one, and you'll understand. Lease an Infinity QX4 for $3.99 a month for 39 months with an initial payment of $32.48. The ultimate Derek Jeter dream date. First you call a girl. Tell her that you're preparing a perfect candlelight dinner for her. I throw in some R&B. I can't cook, so I order some food. Tell them to give me the works and put it on my Discover card. Splash on a little cologne 
throw on your apron. The Discover card cash back bonus is the icing on the cake. What else would she want to do but to watch highlights of us winning the World Series in 1996? It pays to discover. To apply, call 1-800-IT-PAYS-2. Accepted where you see the Novus sign. No score, top of the second inning, and as the second half continues, the only place to find out what's happening with the Sox on and off the field is Bull Sox Underground. Tom Waddle brings you features and interviews you can't find anywhere else. Go Underground Sunday mornings at 11.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. It's the show behind the show. A lot of Cleveland fans in attendance this evening, as usual. Southwest Airlines will take you here. Southwest Cheap. Airlines loves it when the Sox and Cleveland play. Yeah. Here in Chicago as that pitch up high to Albert Bell. Hitting at 297, 27 long ones, 85 driven in. Albert three for 16, lifetime against his former teammate. There's a soft line drive to David Bell. And right now, let's check out our picks to click. Jim and Jamie Angio went with the big hurt. Wimpy and his entourage went with Mike Russo. Boy, do I have a team tonight or what? Andy Petronic and Don Drysdale Jr. and I went with Albert Bell. Robin takes first pitch strike. Robin at 261, 11 homers and 48 knocked in. Curve ball, no. Robin 15 for 53 lifetime against Nagy. He of the blonde haired Nagy's. Yeah. That ball hit well in the left. Mark Whitten goes back. He's there. And that's out number two. Charles Nagy profile fastball 88 to 90. Curve splitter and change that was talk mentioned earlier. Maybe a little short on that fastball right now. That is a look that's really become in vogue, isn't it? That uh, curve ball. To Mags, hitting at 274, 10 homers, 42 driven in. I think it looked wonderful on you. No, thank you. Do you ever see Rod Steiger in No Way to Treat a Lady? Yeah. Well, that one guy, he played Dorian Smith. Right. Every time I see one of these guys with that hair, that's what I think of. It is? Yeah. The 1 1? 2 1? Anything else you think about, you know? That's kind of the stuff I think about. Chris Snowpack's hair is starting to grow in. Blonde headed guy? Yeah. Curveball. I think it's surfing. <laughs> <laughs> two and two yeah. the count. Stuff like that. Fastball in on the fist, and Fryman cannot come up with it. Got the in between hop right there. They look like Travis got a real good jump on that one as far as recognition. Not at all. I mean, he tried to backhand the ball that looked like it was right at him. And right here, Mags gets jammed. He gets sawed off. Not a whole lot on this. Instead of charging and getting it on the short hop, he tries to backhand it. He gave a little bit of ground right there. And there you see the end result. So here's Cordero hitting a 261 nine homers 32 knocked in. Well one for nine lifetime against the Cleveland right hander. Takes first pitch fastball strike outside corner. No score here in the bottom of the second inning if you're just joining us. And the count, 0 and 2. Backed him up with another fastball. Yeah, 
Get a good jump go, Mags. Curveball. Drop down a little bit. So one and two the count. Six three, two hundred pounds. Thirty one year old Charles Nagy. There goes Mags. And there's a breaking ball. Oh. On this one. Now the long peg, not in time. They're going to go over to third base. Ah. Max, hope he didn't hurt himself. So we will check and see. Meanwhile, after two, nothing. Passengers on arriving flights could be back on the Hello? Mike, it's me. I just landed. How'd the meeting go? I think it went great. Terrific. Listen, There's a new cellular service from Ameritech okay. that's so clear, it's like you're there. Lot C! We'll get on it first thing in the morning. All right, I'll see you then. Okay. Virtually no static or interference. Clear path. So clear, it's like you're there. Now get a free phone and 300 minutes for only $45. Monday in the game room. Cleveland has to face the combined firepower of Bell and Thomas one more time. And Dave Otto covers all the bases as the Sox look to send the Indians home on a losing note. Monday at 6.30. It's Baseball Thursday on Fox Sports Net. Fly, fly away! The biggest bats. This is tag. Forget it! The best stars. He struck him out. And the stars of tomorrow hit the field every Thursday. He robs him of another home run. The National Game of the Week. Catch Baseball Thursday on Fox Sports Net. Life is a long, winding road. But there's no reason why you should wind up going in circles trying to get a great deal on a luxury car. At Bob Rorman's Arlington Lexus in Palatine, we'll give you the best deal on the ES300, LS400, DSE Series, the all-new GS400, RX300, and the LX470 straight up. Experience the Arlington advantage at Bob Rorman's Arlington Lexus in Palatine, just one block west of Route 53 on Dundee Road. The Central Leading Tribe come to town. Monday night at 6.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. It's the top of the third inning. No runs, one hit, one error for the Tribe. No runs, one hit, no errors for the Sox. It'll be Borders, Bell, then back to the top of the order in. Kenny Lofton. Borders hitting at 238, no homers. He has driven in six. Tries to bunt it. And we'll take another look at the out at third base by Ardonia's coming. Watch this slide. This is not the way you want to do it. He could have broken an ankle oh, right there. Look at that. Oh. Lands right on his tailbone. Horrible slide. Yeah. You know, that's what we used to call it a 93 foot slide. Of course, you know, the, everything was wrong with the technique, but go if you if he went straight into the bag, he's gonna be safe on that. Straight legged slide gets you there a lot quicker. It looked like he got discombobulated. Robin, the two hopper. Piece of cake. One out. Of course, too, you don't go to third unless you're absolutely sure you're going to get there. Third out of an inning. David Bell hitting at 268, eight homers, 29. He has driven in. He's had some big hits for this ball club. Yeah, you don't want to make the last out at third base. That's to the shortstop, Caruso. And quickly two gone. Well, Parquet who has three strikeouts in this ball game. Scal, Tommy, and Witt. That number one has been very good to him. Throw that fastball. Be proud of it. Here's Lofton. Single sharply. And to center field. Yeah. 
Takes that fastball inside. Corners in close, Robin in on the grass. There's a good fastball strike on the outside corner. Breaking ball. Good one. Oh, well, when Parquet gets his curveball over, he can really be an effective pitcher. Absolutely. Out there. Yeah, because he's got that real sneaky little, not a little fastball, quick fastball, 90 miles an hour, and that curveball be a great asset to him. A little tardy on that. So the count hangs at one and two. And you said it right at Longhawk. You know, if you're looking for two pitches and none of them is breaking down and in or down and away. I mean, it's a lot easier to attack a pitcher, a two pitch pitcher, as you say. Well, that's one of the things I think that a lot of good hitters in the past have tried to break it down to. If you take a four pitch pitcher, you got to try to make him a three pitch pitcher. If you take a three pitch pitcher, you got to try to make him a two pitch pitcher. And you do that in your attack of his arsenal, where you stand in the box, where you stand in relationship to the plate. You can actually take a curveball away from a lot of guys. You can take a slider away from a lot of guys. And the one pitch you can never take away from anybody is a fastball, and the other one is a change. The 2 2, a change up hit deep. And you can put it on the board. That is not a good pitch to Kenny Lofton. And it's 1 0 Cleveland. Yeah, the pitch selection is is not good, and the location is is real bad. There's Kenny from near nearby East East Chicago, Indiana, and you can see that. Boy, he just all over this one. Boy, you're in a protect mode first of all with two strikes, and then he just speeds up his bat inside with the changeup. Want to know the count to Vizquel? Struck out swinging on a good fastball. Unless if you're a right handed pitcher pitching to a right handed hitter unless you get an outstanding outstanding changeup you don't want to throw him changeups. Now it's being done a lot. It's, I don't know why it's being done a lot more and guys are just getting killed on. It. Yes they are. Because we have evidence that. But left handers is even more profound. It's even more magnified. It might be that almost used to be a cardinal rule in baseball. Left handers never threw a left handed hitter a changeup. Is there's the strike and the count three and one. Yeah I know. I mean it was almost like a, a cardinal rule. That was it. You left handed would never throw another. You're doing him a favor when you throw him a yeah. changeup. And you still are regardless of what the philosophy is. So as happens with so many rookies they give up a home run and come back and walk the next guy as Manny Ramirez will be the next hitter hit into a 5 4 3 double play. Well, our club has just been killed this year on change. Oh. You know and throwing them at the, the most inopportune times too. I, I just really don't believe that a change up is a good pitch with two strikes unless you have the greatest change up in the world. Yeah unless that's your best pitch. Yeah and change up to me is is a, is it at its best when the pitcher is behind in the count. Yeah when you get somebody sitting up there 2 0 2 1 3 1 and you've got a good change up you can throw that. Oh yeah. But not left hander to left hand. No. Got to watch Vizquel. He is 17 for 25 in stolen bases. Let's see Ramirez in his last 28 games. 297 with 38 RBIs. So he's been pretty hot with the stick. Yeah, they've had various guys step up and become, as there's a base hit to right, and become the stud, so to speak. Earlier in the year was David Justice. Tommy off to a sluggish start. Ramirez was decent. And then later on, it was Ramirez who got real hot. And Tommy got real hot. 
Fryman was struggling during that time and then there for a while Fryman stepped up. Yeah. So that's what we're talking about the balance. They've always had at least one guy really swinging the bat well. So here's Tommy called out on a fastball outside corner. And the one thing I hope you pointed out about the walking the guy after the after the homer but the, I hope this doesn't take away Jim Parquet's aggressiveness in throwing that first pitch fastball in there challenging these guys and not try and be too fine on the corners because that's when you fall behind two and oh three and one and that's when you get hit hard. Tommy's playing with a bruised forearm he was hit. Andy Pettit. Got him. Pretty good rip at that one. Oh, tell me he had a couple of bombs out of here in BP. Uh, he's fun to watch before and during games. Not too many guys in the game of baseball more aggressive at the plate than he is. And he's a 342 hitter career against the White Sox. 19 homers, 50 RBIs. How many games? I don't know. It doesn't say that here, but I'm, I'm not too many. Got that breaking ball up, but it still was a strike, and he is down in the count one and two. Maybe Hawk tells us it's 58 games, 19 homers. That's pretty good. Yeah. Seems like <laughs> a whole bunch of those have won <laughs> games for the tribe as well. Seems like he hits at least one a game. Towering five ball in right field on the fastball inside. Ardonius makes the catch that will retire the side, but Kenny Lofton's ninth home of the year will go to the bottom of the third. One nothing Cleveland. Jim Rome on interleague play. Stadium sell out. The battles are epic. How is this bad for baseball? Rome on Lawrence Phillips. The Dolphins had better cut him outright. LP is not the next Jim Brown. Apparently, he's well on his way to becoming the next O.J. Simpson. Rome on the NBA lockout. <laughs> Look, debating the merits of a hard versus a soft salary cap is one thing, but fighting for the right to smoke dope is ridiculous. The last word, weeknights on Fox Sports Chicago. Home, home on the range. Bird a deer in the antelope's grow. This man entertained his wife for 20 minutes. Oh, son of a mule. Calm Ed, what do you do with your power? Next step, diversity. Look inside a new Dodge Ram conversion van and you'll find a virtual home on wheels. But take away features like the video system, captain's chairs, and plush interior, and you'll find the remarkable new Dodge Ram van with a more powerful Magnum V8 and strong unibody construction. After all, even a home on wheels should be built on a solid foundation. And with $1,500 cash back, you can start construction right away. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Serves, spikes, sets, saves, slams, sun, sand, action. This summer, grab your shades and catch the ABP Tour, the hottest hits on the beach. Bottom of the third inning, one nothing bad, guys, as we take a look at the upcoming Sox schedule. There you see tomorrow. Now, that will be over WFLD, Fox, and then Sunday's game will be over WGN. We'll have a finale of this four-game set. Against Cleveland, right here on Fox Sports Chicago, and that will conclude this 13-game homestand. Sox, as we speak, are six and three. As Mike Cameron will lead it off, it'll be Cameron, Critter, and Durrell. Mike takes that pitch inside, and the count one and zero. Oh. Do you think Trent Carlini uses mousse or gel? <laughs> I'm I'm going with gel. There's a strike on the outside corner to even count at one. Mike has faced Nagy 14 times in his career. He has three hits. One of them left the ballpark. He 
Yes, he did. Oh, Mikey. Let's see. 16 games hitting at 298. He has really been swinging the bat much, much better. There's a curveball. Yes, he did, says Marty Foster. So that is the first strikeout for Charles Nagy. And he got him on a curveball. And Mike was jumping at the ball. We haven't seen him do this. He, he'd been taking pitches a lot better. He looked at that one pretty good. And right there, last two, boy, he was just jumping. Everything was flying open. His head had to, couldn't stay down like it has been the last few ball games. So here is. Chad Critter hitting a 284 homer. He is driven in 20. He's in good shape at 2 and 0. Chad three for 14 against Nagy lifetime. There's a good fastball strike good pitch to hit. Now feel straight up. Barcruders that sails high and wide. So once again, he's got the commanding count of three and one. That ball hit hard at a boy. Well, you get that 203 one count. Look for something that you can hammer, get after it. If you miss, it's like that. Because it's foul. Down your side of the field, not the opposite way. Absolutely. We've too, seen too many liners over the opposite dugout. That was a good fastball to hit. Inner half. Chad got it out there. Down hangs full three and two. We mentioned the Sox are six and three on this homestand, winning six out of their last eight ball games. Sox now 22 and 26 at home this year. So a long way to go in this one and then the three remaining games with Cleveland tomorrow it'll be John Snyder against whoa Jared Wright as that's called strike three so Nagy strikes out Cameron strikes out Cruder. Well Joe Franklin says that this ball came back over the inside corner. Was that good last swing and now and there's the final one. Too close to take three two. Yeah. This is made Durham. Popped up the center. Takes that curveball. No. Last nine games Ray hitting at 297 with three long ones. Two balls no strikes. There's a little something different in Nagy's motion. Just can't quite put a finger on it. As the count moves to three and zero, well, he's really no. He, he didn't have it. Getting to me, he's not getting that good shoulder turn that he once had. You know, he, he always has long armed it up there. That's low ball four, so good speed aboard. They were 21 stolen bases and 27 attempts. Now he's got to make Pat Borders throw him out. Yes. Spending a lot of time over the rubber. That's good for him. Yeah. Something a little off from what we have seen Nagy when he was really dominating in the past. So here's Mike. He grounded out to his counterpart, the scale. Ray, a good lead. Maggie, the long set. As there is ball one.
Or he will be going somewhere in the sequence. Yeah, he should. You know, getting back to Nagy, you know, you'd figure that um, Mark Wiley, who's been a great pitching coach and has had Nagy for so yeah. many years, would have, you know, been able to uh, to get something on this of what we we're talking about because he really has had four really poor starts in a row. Elvis Knight here at Comiskey Park. I love it. That looks like the Polish Eagle right there on his back. There goes Ray. Borders with the throw, not nearly in time. Stolen base number 22. Quick feet. Quick, quick feet from Ray Durham. Well, it doesn't take him long to get the full speed. And right there, he may have had a uh, little agreement with uh, Caruso to take because Ray did not look up to see if that ball was put into play. He got there in a hurry. Well, with two outs, you really don't have to. Yeah, that's There's true. No outs and one out where you've got to make sure that ball is put into play. That's to the second baseman, David Bell, up with it over to Tommy, and that'll retire the side. Nothing across, one left after three, one nothing. Try. Fox Sports News, prime time. When they hit the road, they feel right at home. Tonight, a look at baseball's Road Warriors. What makes them so tough when they play away? Only on Fox Sports News Prime Time. Hot time, thunder in the city. The bread raising at half and so pretty. Cool cats bent down, chit chilly. Checking out the stat zone, the new Philly. Hawthorne is the place to go for some of thoroughbred racing and concert shows. Catch Thoroughbred Racing with live concerts every weekend. It's hot times at Hawthorne. It's Hawthorne in the city, summer racing in the city. When we spread the wheels out a bit, move the windshield forward a tad, lower the step up height a skosh, and widen the aisle a smidgen, we created a caravan with 32 more cubic feet of room. It's remarkable what a few alterations will do. Now get up to $1,500 cash back on Dodge Caravan. What can I do you for, young fella? Just the filter. Just the filter. <laughs> Did anyone else hear that? <laughs> Son, you might think you're gonna live forever, but you put inferior oil filters in your engine, and it's not long for this world. Look, nothing's more dependable than America's number one filter, Fram. You'll thank me someday. Ah, youth. Fram oil filters. Pay a little more now or pay a lot later. Here's our Southwest Airlines Trivia Troll fan question. Christine Maurer of Carpentersville asks, which current White Sox was the second player in Major League history to record his first two hits and his first two at-bats in the same inning? Survey said... It was Norton. Greg Norton, August 19th, 1996. And Billy Martin did it in 1950 for the Yankees. Now, those are some good-looking burns. So now Christine qualifies to win a trip to see the Sox take on the Orioles on September 1st. Southwest Airlines has fair solo. You have the freedom to go place and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. That's not Elvis. No, 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 no. 1 0 on Travis Fryman. I think blonde hair and a red beard would look great on you, Wimpy. Oh, yeah. I can't grow a beard. And I'm never dyeing my hair again. I promised. I promised myself. You mean if we won eight in a row, you wouldn't nah. dye your hair? Not a chance. You know, I don't think that's very good for your hair. Went after some high heat. But nine in a row. Nope. Ten? Nope. Uh uh. All right. If we went ten in a row, I'll die my hair. All right. Done. Pops that one up out of play. Whoop, the low section. 
Somebody winds up with a souvenir and you can add to your cap collection with the latest and cool sports gear tomorrow. Sox take on the Indians at 1215 and the first 20,000 fans receive a Sox cap in red courtesy of AM 1000 and Ed Farmer. John Rooney is also behind it. Four tickets call 312 831 one Sox. Dead gummit. So you're really going to dye your hair blonde if we win 10 in a row. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, you heard it, fans. So you used to do stuff like that all the time 30 years ago. I mean, this is nothing for you. <laughs> you just don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> two two coming up. Kruder sets up outside. Change up. Got it. Wow. Hands came forward right on the outside corner. <laughs> what a good looking family. <laughs> Witten grounds this one to Hopper to Caruso. Mike fires the first and very quickly two up two down. Cubs leading the Fighting Fish six to one. Bottom of the six. Sammy Sosa, his 36th home. All right. Sammy, that cat can hit. Oh, great. Would everybody get one of these when they walked in the door? Yeah. Oh, is that right? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> A great gig. Strike on the outside corner. And you and I were the only two guys that never grew sideburns. You know that? Couldn't. Couldn't, yeah. I tried. No chance. Couldn't do it. Oh, good strike on the outside corner at the knees. Not many guys are going to hit that one. David Justice says, I can't. Look at last year, one year ago, he had he was hitting 340 with 18 homers. This year, 286 13. Yeah, it's still very respectable. Last year, he was in Fuego. Yes. Good fastball strikeout. 5 4 Parquet. 1 2 3 go the Indians after three and a half. They lead it. 1 zip. Southwest Airlines, with fares so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. Oh. Want to get away? Southwest has your ticket to freedom. For only $99 or less, you can fly anywhere Southwest Airlines flies when you purchase by July 23rd. You are now free to move about the country. What do you get when you add up all Dodge Neon's horsepower, plus all of its interior room, both of which are greater than you'll find here, then subtract a hefty $1,500 cash back, hit total, and Neon is yours for under 10 dollars Or instead of cash back, choose low 1.9 financing. Another way to save. And as they say, the numbers speak for themselves. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. My grandson, Gary, is one of those high-tech whiz kids. He's an Ameritech ISDN specialist. I told him whatever that meant, I was real proud of him. He said ISDN's a digital phone line that's nine times faster for internet and transferring files. It's his job to help small businesses like mine figure it out. I told him to hook his grandma up. My old 14.4 modem was a dog. Call 1-800-TEAM-DATA for big savings on an ISDN line. It's 1-0 Cleveland, bottom of the fourth inning here at Comiskey Park. On probably the nicest evening we've had all year for Elvis night. And there is Trent Carlini. He's a Rocco Hoogan right there, honey. On a hold of time, all of the night. But all she wants to do is dance. Rock, who 
little baby rock. Rock a hum on the hum on the hum on the. <laughs> There's Frank Thomas. He takes a fastball inside from Charles Nagy. Frank went after the first pitch. Nagy threw him in the first inning. Grounded out to shortstop. Hitting at 272 now, the big hurt. 1 0 pitch right there at the knees. 88 mile an hour fastball from Charles Nagy. The Rocket is pitching tonight against the Yankees. It's Guido. Oh, I bet you they got a big crowd over there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's great. One of our really fun nights last year was Elvis Night. And it looks like we're going to duplicate it this evening. There's a strike on the outside corner, two and two. He's almost as big as Beanie Babies. Yeah, and they're both dead, I guess. Yeah, Beanie Babies. Wow. That was fun. We gave away Blizzard. Here's what Frank was doing a year ago. Wow. 376 with 21 homers. This year, 272 with 15. 104 points. Wow. There's a grounder. Foul wide a third. Nice play by our ball girl. Our Fox Sports Chicago ball girl. Let's see, who's the Rocket pitching against tonight? It's uh, David Wells, 11 and 2. Rocket is 10 and 6. Great matchup there. There's fastball. Walked him up high. So the leadoff man reaches. And here's Albert. Second walk issued by Nagy. And since the All Star break, the Sox pitching. The record of 6 and 3. 3 2 2 earned run average. That's good. And the offense, 275 with 17 long runs. Here's Albert. He lined out to second base his first time up. I'll feel very deep and straight away. First ball, fastball upstairs. And since the All Star break, Albert Bell's played nine games. He has hit nine homers, driven in 19. That's good, 459. 17 hits. He has been. As Dan Patrick would say, in fuego. Uh -uh, upstairs, so it's 2 0. Well, when you're hot, it seems like you got that 2 0 count all the time. 2 0, 3 1, 3 2. Yeah, because you're seeing it so well. Exactly. You don't jump out at the ball. And you don't you, swing at pitchers' pitches. That's right. Yeah. And if they happen to dot the corner, you just take it. That's right. And you, you look at it so nicely. You don't get out there and hit it to the shortstop or the third baseman. Yeah. He looked at that one. Ooh, strike on the outside corner at the knees. Late call by Joe Brinkman. Tough pitch. Took something off of that one. Oh boy. That's nasty. 82 mile an hour changeup, you'd have to call that one. Yeah, it's almost like a BP fastball coming off his fastball. His fastball anywhere from 88 89 tonight. There's a strike. That looks like a splitter. Could have been the first one he has thrown. See, Albert just three for 17 against Nagy in his career. They want to come inside. Fastball. He ropes it. He got it out over the plate. And Albert made him pay. Fortunately for Nagy, who has given up the most homers in the major leagues at 26, didn't get that. He didn't get that one elevated. That's a two spot. Nagy is very, very fortunate. This one didn't leave the ballpark. Yeah, that ball was scalded. I know Juan Gonzalez still hasn't driven in a run since the break. He's still at, stuck at 101. Albert third in the league now with 85 runs batted. And here's Robin.
Comes inside, fastball misses. Robin hitting at 261. He hit it hard his first time up, took Witten to the warning track in left field. Thomas and Bell, the runners. Ventura, the hitter, he takes a good sinker on the outside corner at the knees. Not much you're going to do with that pitch. Hey, Robin with runners in scoring position, not that good. Far below his standards. They're playing him to pull. Get the ball high, in. deep to left field, way back goes Witten to the wall. He leaps it off the fence. Frank Thomas is going to score. Albert Bell in the third. Whoa, close play. That ball just missed going out of here. And Big Mark Witten almost caught it. Hit a long run, so Ventura going to left field, two consecutive at bats, finds an opening. Well, he's making the right move here off the right hander Nagy. He's got that tailing fastball. You can see he just goes right with it, not trying to get greedy. I think Robin thought this ball was out of here. But Mark Witten can still throw. Well, you can see he just did not get a glove on it. Great effort by Witten, though. It yeah. really was. And when he got to the ball, Albert knows how Witten can throw, and he was busting his hump getting in the third, and he knew it was going to be close. Yeah, Watch what? this. What can he throw? Yeah, that's what? A, look at that. I mean, you know, if that ball's on the other side of the bag, he might have it. Yeah, I think so. I think he would have been out. Man. Low laser. So, nice hitting situation here for Ordonez. 1 1 tie. Drive that runner, hit it to the right side, drive the runner home from third and get him over to third for Will Cordero. Now Mags was safe on an error his first time up. That was in the second inning. Tried to reach third on the infield single by Cordero, the next hitter, and was thrown out. Lines that one. He's trying to do the right thing. Exactly. Mags has shown us. From a rookie standpoint, he might be, as far as trying to do the right thing, the best situational hitter on our ball club. Might, yeah, could very easily be. Oh boy. Pulls that one. That looked like a splitter. Yeah, off speed pitch, and he was out in front of it. it looked like he was set up right there to try to take it in the right field. Now he's got a battle. Splitter. Yeah. Pretty good one, too. Huh? Some downward movement in too, so it's tough to go the opposite way on that particular pitch. So the 0-2 to Ordonez, he's sitting up way outside. He misses by a foot. Wow. Right to the third, yeah. The only thing I'd like to see Mags do in that situation is maybe back off the plate a little bit. Hawk. He's right on top of the plate trying to do that inside out swing. It'd be a little bit easier. It'd be a lot easier. A lot easier. When you're trying to take the ball in the right field, you back off the plate. When you're trying to pull the ball, you get up closer to the plate. Yeah. That was the one thing that I knew I could do is, is, is didn't want to, I always want to stay up in front of the plate, but backing off it made that that stroke to right field, that little shank. A lot easier to do. Do it almost every time, as a matter of fact. <laughs> There's a splitter that Cordero takes, one and all. You know, some of us are just masters at certain things. Well, you made the shank an art form. Yeah. Ow! Check, swing, crack, back. Wow. Cordero's real susceptible to that pitch up and in because he is diving from the get go. Look at the location right here, the movement coming in. Another good pitch by Maggie. Max had the one good pitch, the first pitch he saw in that previous at bat. 
And then after that, now you just make some good pitches on him and you did the same thing to Cordero. So, Mike Cameron's got to get a hit to score these guys. Ooh, that's a pretty good pitch to hit right there. Breaking ball, middle of the plate. By his first, by looking at Mike Cameron in his first at bat, doesn't look like he's picking up Nagy. He was really jumping out at the pitch, and right there, that's the one he's got a hammer. Pitch misses one and one. Well, it happens. You get some certain guys out there. You just really have a very, very difficult time picking the ball up off. Of. Something in emotion doesn't set right with your line of sight or your eyesight. Yeah. You just don't pick it up, and you certainly don't pick up the spin. Splitter grounded to third. Fryman makes the play, throws him out. Sox put a run on the board, but it could have been a lot more. They strand two in scoring position after four were tied at one. Let's run the numbers on Dodge Stratus, a double wishbone race inspired suspension plus more standard features than Accord, Altima, and 626. Subtract $1,500 cash back, hit total, and Stratus starts at $14,000, considerably less than what you'd pay for these. Or instead of cash back, select low 1.9 financing. That can also save you money. Gee, you'll love this new math. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Great deal. Every Monday at Comiskey Park, all Sox tickets are half priced. Now that doesn't mean you get half a seat. It means that all tickets at Comiskey Park for every Monday home game are half priced. So that means you get two for one, three for one and a half, four for two. Seventy-four for the price of thirty-seven. The Central Leading Tribe come to town. Monday night at 6.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. Well, 1-1 one, one tie here at Elvis Night. And Fox Sports Chicago and TCI present Future Sox. Just take a photo of your child eight years old or younger in White Sox apparel and a baseball pose. Include their name, age, address, and phone number and send it to the address on your screen. Entries must be postmarked no later than July 20th and winners will be announced on August 5th in the game room. By Chet Cockpit and Dave Otto. They'll tell you who they are. And it's the top of the fifth inning. We're going to start off with Pat Borders. Number eight, nine, and one hitters. It'll be Borders, Bell, and then Kenny Lofton. Pat 0 for 1. Ground to the third, his first time up. Grounds that one hard to third. Robin Ventura will take care of it, and there's one gone. So twice Borders has grounded out to third baseman Robin Ventura. Robin seems to be in just a, that was an easy play, of course, even though the ball was hit hard, but he seems to be just in a great rhythm defensively. He has really thrown some leather since the All Star break. Not that he didn't prior to that, but he's made some spectacular plays in the last nine ball games. Yeah, everything looks real easy yeah. for him right now. It's, that's when you get in a real good rhythm. Yeah, I wouldn't know what that felt like, but sounds good. Yeah, great concept. Like when you were in a real good rhythm at first base, you didn't get hit in the behind. No. By many. But I didn't get in a good rhythm very often, though. See, that's that's the question. When I was in that rhythm, no, I, I take some off the kneecaps. <laughs> There's a pop up. That is not a high pop up. Here's Robin. Might let the sure guy catch it. I'll never forget the first play of the game. I was thinking about my batting average at Old Comiskey, and Ricky Henderson was the batter. I'm playing it on the grass, you know, a little respect, even though Ricky never butted. He had a one hop bullet to me, hit me right in the shins. Chin? Sh oh, shin. Shin. 
Schinberger, huh? Yeah. Well, I can't say about that good group. Kenny Lofton homered his last time up. He got a changeup on a 2 2 count and ripped it out of here. Fastball upstairs. I love that story you tell about. Who is it that hits you in the behind? Was it Stargell or? Really Stargell. Hmm. He didn't hit him very hard, did he? <laughs> I still got the imprint. Oh, man. I remember I was playing first base against the Pirates. And we had to have the infield in when McCovey. I mean, no, no, uh, Stargell was hitting. That was like real scary. There's a liner to left. He's three for three. Lord and Lord. He can hit. Got a fastball. And he this is time. probably going to be running. You would think. Good piece of hitting by Lofton. Oh, yeah. Tell us in that Boston series, he really didn't swing the bat at all. They look terrible up there. Not tonight. No, he's he's real dangerous tonight. Well, often. Webby, excuse me, the scaredest I've ever been at first base was when McCovey was hitting. Yeah. I was holding Willie Mays on out in <laughs> Phoenix, and we were fighting each other to see who was going to put the other one in front of the other. <laughs> it was a shield. In fact, this one reporter got some pictures of it. And they had it on the station out there. <laughs> it went all around of us waltzing around yeah. to see who was going to get in front oh, of the other one. That's scary. We had a hard throwing right hander out there named Mark Ballinger, throwing about 98. And the harder you threw it, of course, the harder Willie hit it. Yeah. He was coming down us with some wicked, wicked shots. Oh, yeah. That's, I was scared of death. I really was. Yeah, you know, it was a good place to pitch him was down and in. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he take rows of seats out <laughs> on that pitch. Only well, can imagine what he'd have done to you. Boy, could he hit the ball hard? Oh man, he's a little bitty bat too. Real short bat. Yeah. Stretch. All stretched out. What a what a great guy. Meanwhile, Vizquel's got a 1-1 pitch coming up with Lofton at first. You know, Kenny stole just 27 bases last year. He had an injury-riddled season with the Atlanta Braves. There's a grounder to second. You're up to second, and that will end the inning. So they failed to score. We're halfway home, tied at one. Cleveland has to face the combined firepower of Bell and Thomas one more time. And Dave Otto covers all the bases as the Sox look to send the Indians home on a losing note. Monday at 6.30. It's the bottom of the fifth inning. 1-1 one, one tie. Boy, Sox had a golden opportunity to get to Charles Nagy. Last inning, an RBI double by Robin Ventura was all they got, but they had runners at second and third. Nobody out. And couldn't capitalize on that great chance. <laughs> he is a god. A hunk of hunk of burning love. First pitch to Cruder. Breaking ball right there. We mentioned Nagy in his last 16 innings, 19 earned runs. Whoa. There's a curveball. Biter. Did go. And ah, here's our Fox Sports Chicago game summary brought to you by the Greater Chicago Land Dodge Dealers. Robin Ventura, an RBI double in the fourth. Parquet, five innings, one run, four hits, two walks, five strikeouts. That's good. Against a very good offensive team of the Cleveland Indians. One two Chad chokes up on the bat about an inch right now. Gonna shorten up that swing maybe the stride also hit it right back up the middle good concept. Right on the money. You don't see as many guys doing that now as is you would like. Yeah. 
Yeah. You have there's no question you have a little better bat control. No question about that. Yeah. You know the thing about it is and you're going to protect the way too so you're going to have that coverage on the outside. But the inside pitch won't be as devastating to you on you know on jam sandwiches and stuff. I guess the guy who really comes to mind when you when I think about that is Rico Cardi. Well he really choked up with two strikes. There's a grounder right side. Nice play by Bell to Pirouette and he throws him out. Nice job by David Bell. His dad could pick it. There again is the movement on Nagy's fastball. Even though he's not throwing that hard this evening, he has good movement on it. Boy, what pitches he made last inning to get out of that second, third, and nobody out jam. Yeah, he got Ordonez, Cordero, and Cameron. Curveball misses in to Durham. Ray, 0 for 1. He does have a walk and a stolen base to his credit. That fastball grounded foul wide at third by Brian Little. Sox third base coach. Wallace Johnson over at third. Ray hitting at 285 now. Pops that one foul out of play. Last series against Toronto, he was four for 13 with a homer, and he scored a couple of runs. Outfield straight away. He wants it inside, and he gets it upstairs. Two at two. Yankees hitting in the seventh inning. That battle with Toronto, Roger Clements against David Wells. Ray choked up on the bat a little bit. Yeah, he got him on the inside corner. There's that late movement once again. Fastball coming back. Boy, so many guys give up when you when you go into the ball like Durham does. Every once in a while they'll catch it. Ray, he doesn't believe it. Well, again, the movement right there, tailing back over the inside corner. Yeah. Late, late movement. So here's Mike Caruso with two out. And Mike pops that one up, and that is out of play. Mike hitting at 315 as he stands in. Two out, nobody on here in the fifth inning. Good pitching battle right now between Jim Parquet and Charles Nagy. Nagy one and one against the Sox this year. 12 point, 12 and two thirds innings, 12 hits, eight earned runs, 355 earned run average. Cleveland leads the season series three games to two. That pitch down low. Frank Thomas is on deck. Well, they're showing a lot of respect for Caruso right here. They're pretty much straight away in the outfield for him and fairly deep. Whitten shortens up a bit in left field. But Mike with those four homers this year. There's a hard shot. David Bell right there. So it's going to be an easy one, two, three inning for Charles Nagy. And after five, we're still tied at one. Time All Star Steve Sachs joins the Fox Sports News team. I'm ready to play. For expert analysis, this world champion has all the bases covered. We are there. Fox Sports News, weeknights. Check local listings. 
Let's crunch some numbers on America's best-selling minivan, Dodge Caravan. Right now, every caravan comes with remarkably low 1.9 financing, or up to $1,500 cash back on Grand Caravan. Or on this caravan, subtract $1,250 cash back, hit total, and your price is under $16,900, making it America's lowest-priced minivan. And imagine what all these savings can do for your bottom line. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. I'm Mike Cameron of the Chicago White Sox. There's a problem in Chicago that people are afraid to face. Our kids' baseball skills need help. It's not just that kids are missing the cutoff, man. Kids are missing the point altogether. Some kids are practicing their skills already, and some kids are not. This isn't just a shame. It can be dangerous. Won't you please help? Sign up at Fundamentals at Comiskey Park or at the White Sox training centers. Call today. Jim Rome on interleague play. Stadium sell out. The battles are epic. How is this bad for baseball? Rome on Lawrence Phillips. The Dolphins had better cut him outright. LP is not the next Jim Brown. Apparently, he's well on his way to becoming the next OJ Simpson. Rome on the NBA lockout. <laughs> Look, debating the merits of a hard versus a soft salary cap is one thing, but fighting for the right to smoke dope is ridiculous. The last word. Weeknights on Fox Sports Chicago. The Central Leading Tribe come to town. Monday night at 6.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. A 1-1 tie here in the top of the sixth inning, and you can hit the beach this summer with the hottest stars in volleyball on AVP Tour. Fox Sports Chicago has action Saturday at noon from Seal Beach. Cool. And Sunday at 3.30 from Belmar, New Jersey. That's the AVP Tour all this weekend on Fox Sports Chicago. I love Seal Beach. It is so cool. I'm blonde in. hair and all, huh? Oh, yeah. Everybody has blonde hair at Seal Beach. Top of the sixth inning in a 1-1 tie. It'll be Manny Ramirez, Jim Tomey, and Travis Fryman, the heart of the Indian order. As there's a curveball, yes, says Joe Brinkman. Ramirez is hit into a 5-4-3 twin killing, and he has singled. Toronto now leading the Yankees two to one bottom of the seventh at Skydome. Fastball. Hey, Akaru. Now we talk about hairdos a lot today. How about this one? Is that awesome or what? Oscar Gamble. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> what a dandy. What a great guy. He was good oh, guy. Oh, yeah. I don't think he stood close enough to the plate, though. But his <laughs> hair was in the strike zone. <laughs> Oscar, he That's could turn a fastball around. Oh, could he ever? That's when those afros were in bloom. Boy, he had the biggest one of all. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar Gamble. Two and one the count to Ramirez. First of a four game set with these Indians. Watch out. We mentioned Snyder against Wright tomorrow, 22 year old right hander. Jared Wright against a 23 year old right hander, John Snyder on. Sunday it'll be Mike Soraka against the veteran Dave Burba. There's John. On Monday in the finale, Jamie Navarro against Bartolo Colon, hard throwing 23 year old right hand. Yeah, he's the real deal. And that will be our next game coming away on Fox Sports Chicago. It'll be the game room at 6.30, followed by the Sox and the Indians at 7. And then the Sox hit the road a couple of games in Toronto, three in New York. For returning home for a brief two game set against the Devil Rays. There's a oh rocket. My. Albert cannot make that one. The ball had some severe hump back line drive on it. Remember, we talked about Ramirez being a good high fastball hitter when he came into the league, and then he started shifting over to being a breaking ball hitter right there. That's some high gas. 90 miles an hour and he turned on that bad boy got his hands up above the ball watch where he makes contact bang. Here's the ever dangerous Jim Tomey. He will turn that fan on. Tomey has struck out and popped up a high towering pop up to right field. You know if it hurts Jim don't swing. 
He has become one of my favorite players to watch. Oh yeah, he's just. I he's, mean, since he came into the league. You know, he's just a great young man too. Loves to laugh. Yeah. Has a lot of fun while he's playing and laugh at himself. He was great. I love listening to his interviews at the All Star Game this year. Yeah, he might tell you what he did with those interviews he had. A lot of people who may not have heard him before became instant Tommy fans. You have to. Yeah. You have to love him. That's one thing a lot of players don't really realize how much easier their life could be if, in fact, they had a relationship with the camera, with the writers, with yeah. the media, you know, instead of a lot of guys taking that no talk posture, that no talk stance. Yeah. And the fans would have a better connection because that's really, for the most part, the only connection, the only link relationship you have with the player is through the media. I understand a lot of them why they don't do it. I played with a couple of guys that had that kind of relationship with the media, and I and I told them at the time, I said I just don't understand it. It's got him aced it, beautiful pitch right on the outside corner. That is strikeout number six for Parquet. Be proud of that fastball, Jimmy. He really does nail this outside corner. He filled the mid up. Yeah, he did. Tony looks like he's backed off the plate a little bit to, uh, against Parquet, maybe to try and hit him in the left center field. But he really hasn't had a real good pitch to hit yet. Well, if there's been one guy who's made some really good pitches on us, Ben Tomey. Yeah. So here's Fryman. He has walked and struck out, called out on a good changeup outside corner. There's the strike. Top of the ninth inning in Detroit as you look at uh, Tomey. 6 4 Tigers leading Boston. Ramirez not a real threat run he has four stolen bases in four attempts as that fastball just off the outside edge so the count evens at one. Diamond out of Lexington Kentucky. He did not go. He checks up on the curveball. Travis, a long look down at Newman, third base coach. Mark Quinton on deck. Run on five hits, one error for the Tribe. Run on three hits, no errors for the Sox. That one down at the plate. So Parquet gets even in the count to Fryman. There he is. I wonder when they see him every day when he shows up to the ballpark if they say, Hello, Newman. He's lost some weight, Jeff. He has? Yeah. He was a little portly last year. He's a large man. You bring your parents out to Applebee's Kids Day. It's that's this Sunday. Sox take on Cleveland at 105. You'll be able to get autographs, run the bases, and your parents will be happy because kids' tickets are only a buck at the box office on game day. That's Applebee's Kids Day this Sunday against the Tribe. Checks it up. So a full count. Now Ramirez checking over with Bumbry, who says, "Look at the third base coach." And I'll talk to you a little bit. Relay the sign in case you're having trouble getting. Payoff. Chops that one foul. Fryman looks a lot shorter with his swing right now than he did the first two series we saw. Oh yeah. I mean, he, that open stance just didn't work for him at all. And he's back on top of the plate, which is where he needs to be. Boy, he's got his hands in real good position. Yeah, they're better. He's one of those guys that brings his hands with him. 
You know, not like. But Albert. he's not dropping them. No. Earlier in the year, he was coming down with them. As Ramirez takes off, there's a changeup hitting the right field for a base hit. So Max gets to it, gets it back in. One out, runners at the corner. Up, kept his hands back and goes with it nicely. You see those hands come through before the barrel of the bat. Yeah, the pitch was up and he's looking away, no question about it. So I was referring to earlier, he's got his hands in real good position to hold them there. When they don't drop and you got them up like that, well, that's almost perfect. Because now you can get to the pitch up, even if it's a fastball, a lot easier as Mark Witten stands in. Oh, look at this. Chopper, base hit right side. So they're going to play a little first and third right here as Ramirez scores, and it's a 2 1 Cleveland lead. Man. The heck, you hit a ball like that right handed. Fastball away. Looked like he was tardy on that swing. Oh, there's no stride involved whatsoever by Witten. Which is a good approach when you're trying yeah. to get the man in from third. So Nardi Contreras has his little conference with Jim Parquet. And David Justice will be the hitter. Justice is grounded out to Cordero. And struck out. Alfield playing him to pull a huge gap in left center. Come on. This could be Ray. You rack him up. Six to four to three. That's the 103rd twin killing turn by the Sox this year. But one run crosses the plate. We'll go to the bottom of the six. There it is. This mom gave a butterfly its wings. Comet, what do you do with your power? Arguably the most luxurious ride of any sport utility vehicle in the world, car and driver. Quieter than the Bentley Continental T, road and track. Best luxury sport utility vehicle and in initial quality in a tie, J.D. Power & Associates. At Infinity, we don't like to honk our own horn. We prefer to let others honk it for us. The Infinity QX4. Own one and you'll understand. Lease an Infinity QX4 for $3.99 a month for 39 months with an initial payment of $32.48. From the first professional contractors at the crack of dawn to the do-it-yourselfers who drop in all day long, what makes it so easy to shop at Carter Lumber? Well, we could show you our friendly personal service or our industry know-how or maybe even how we make it easy to get quality products and top-notch materials. But seeing customer after satisfied customer is probably the best picture of all. Carter Lumber, the easy way to home improvement. White Sox baseball is brought to you in part five. Southwest Airline, with fares so low, you have the freedom to go places. And by ComEd, the official energy company of the Chicago White Sox. ComEd, what do you do with your power? The big hurt, Frank Thomas gets set to lead off the Sox half of the sixth inning. They trail it two to one. Frank has grounded to short. He has walked and he has scored. Curveball. Well, Nagy's been turning a lot of fastballs over tonight, Wimpy. 
Yeah, that's been his best pitch. Yeah, and by turning it over, we're talking about when most of the time a guy will go two seamer with that. And when he does, he releases in a way that his index finger comes over the top and he'll get some movement going away. Yeah. So when we talk about turning it over, he's turning it over to get movement downward right. and off the sweet meat of the bat. And you were saying those Cleveland people, we just didn't have it. Didn't have any any type of movement, and heck, that's what he relied on in the past on all his pitches. Here's the 2-1. On the outside corner. Tries to tail that one in on the fist. Good idea, but he wouldn't bite him. Now feel straight up. That ball popped up into right field. Ramirez did not get a good jump, comes on, and now no. he makes the catch. I don't know about that one. Eric Cooper, I'll tell you, he was in as good a position as he could be. He hustled. He did hustle very nicely to get out there. I think he was. I thought he caught it. Let's just take another look and see if we can get an angle on it here. That's tough. This, this is a better angle right here. Yeah. Because he has never. He got it. Yeah, I guess he did. I'll tell you, he's no whiz out there in the outfield either. No. No, he got a very, very bad jump. But of course, a lot of outfielders do that when you got Frank or Albert hitting any strong hitter. Their first instincts when the ball goes up in the air is to go back. Yeah. That was a nice recovery by Ramirez and a nice catch. So Albert is lined to second and hit a bullet. He warped a single in the left field. Breaking ball. 2 and 0. Borders to the outside. Boy, he just just does miss with that. He's hit. He's got to be. So the Borders wants to run up there. Fastball. There he turned that one over. You saw the movement. The key to turning it over and getting the downward movement is keeping your fingers on top when you release it. Now you can see his fingers are on top. And you see that movement tailing back. And you can leave some pitches in the strike zone a good hitter spot but with that movement you know chances are he's not going to center it. Deep in the left field. Whitten goes back, looks up. You can put it on the board. Yes. Number 28 for Albert, and this ball game is tied at two. Well, he got a center cut fastball right here. The movement didn't bother Albert at all. He has been something else. Lord have mercy. Season for Bell. He's got 86 runs batted in. There's a 3 1 fastball right there, and he unloads. Side view, those hands, the shoulders moving back and upward, and it's a goner. And that home run replay brought to you by Comet, the official energy company of the Sox, providing power to Northern Illinois customers for over 100 years. Well, you can see the difference in the movement right there. That was flat. The others have been going into the right hander and down. So that'll tell you one thing that Nagy had his hands on the side of the ball Maybe. rather than on top. Yeah that downward movement's a lot tougher to adjust to. Jeez. 
Jeez, he's short and quick. Well, Albert trails Junior now by one. For second place in RBIs, and Gonzalez still stuck on that 101. Robin can't get it in the count one and two. Robin lined hard to left, and he has doubled almost a three run homer high off the wall in left field. Without a doubt, Bell and Ventura have had the best swings tonight. And poof, if you missed it, there's that tailing fastball. You see Nagy, he thought it was out of here as well. What a gun by Witten. That breaking ball, chopped foul over by the photographer as well. Well, if you're a pitcher out there and you get those hands on the side of the ball or underneath it, you're asking for a lot of trouble. That's a base hit in the right field. You gotta keep those fingers on top of the baseball. Well, Robin heating up a bit right now. That's his second hit. Third good at bat against Nagy. He went out and pulled this one. That was down and away. He's in much better sink right there. That head is staying much stiller. Goes out and gets it. Looks okay. And while we have a moment, Discover Car will donate $500 to the local chapter of the Make a Wish Foundation for every White Sox Grand Slam in tonight's ball game. So two seven and one for Cleveland, two five and zero oh for the Sox. One out, Ventura first, and here's Max Ordonez. Max over two. He's reached on an error and grounded to third. Breaking ball right there, fooled him. So that home run by Albert. Number 300 in his career. That's good. I guess. <laughs> one and one the count. Have you ever observed a guy hotter than what Albert has been, you know, on a like on a daily basis? For 10 games? Yeah. yeah I told you the only one that comes close was Mattingly when he had that oh, yeah. streak back in 80. I believe it was in Seven. 87. Yeah. With the Yankees. Right. Either 87 or 88. But he was, you're talking about a hot. And as I mentioned, oh, he yeah. had all those home runs and about four or five of them were grand slams. There's another breaking pitch. Outside of that, no. As there's a throw. Comey puts it on him, but Albert Bell's 300th career home run, and we'll go to the seventh, tied at two. Fox Sports News prime time. When they hit the road, they feel right at home. Tonight, a look at baseball's road warriors. What makes them so tough when they play away? Only on Fox Sports News prime time. Here at hole seven of the Cooper Tire Invitational, a long par 9,000 from Chicago. The green surrounded by water. We talked to our leader about this crucial hole. Tough hole. I rely a lot on my Cooper tires and my low iron. Here's some replays of you through the Midwest. Oh, had a few nice shots here in Missouri. And then that impressive run down the Gulf Coast. We're live in the Everglades. Arnie lying 8,003. The world is your course. Drive on. This week on Bull Sox Underground, Sammy who? Our Southside hitman has a mean streak of his own going in July. Then, grab your blue suede shoes, don't be cruel, and prepare to get all shook up at Comiskey on Elvis Night. Plus, Chris Novak goes from player to coach by instructing kids at the White Sox Training Center. All that, the week in review, and much more on Bull Sox Underground. Sunday at 1130 on Fox Sports Chicago. There's only one, Bob Roarman. Dateline Palatine, Barmouth attack village. 
Oh, looks like we have a real story here. Arlington Acura in Palatine is Chicagoland's number one Acura dealer. They've got luxurious cars, luxurious service, and most importantly, luxurious savings. Bob Rorman's Arlington Acura in Palatine, just one block west of Route 53 on Dundee Road, Palatine. The central leading tribe come to town. Monday night at 6.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. Pat Borders gets set to lead off the top of the seventh inning. There's our line score. Albert Bell's 28th homer of the season, number 300 of his career. It's just even this ball game up. So here's Borders. Twice he has gone out to Ventura once very hard. Breaking ball inside. There's Scott with the home run ball. His 300th home run ball. What a great historian, Scott Harris. Change up down low in the count two and nothing. I think he's going to like sell it back to Albert. Yeah. Albert makes a little more than Scott. Yeah, heck yeah. So two and four, you know. What would you sell it to him for? One thing. Ten grand. There's a good strike on the outside corner. No, actually, it's very, very fortunate it landed in our bullpen. And there's a strike to even the count of two. I'd rather seen a fan get it. Okay. And that way he could have received, I'm sure, a couple of nice awards. I think so, huh? Pretty good pitch right there by Parquet. Good effort. And the count goes full. But Jimmy Parquet has really pitched well this evening. Got burned on that change up to Lofton, who hit it out of here in the third inning for his ninth homer. There's a shot. 3 2 fastball, so the leadoff man aboard. And if you're one of the first 20,000 fans at the Sox Indian game this Sunday, you'll receive an all star poster featuring Ray Durham, courtesy of Dove Bar and Dominic's. For tickets, call 312-831-1 Sox. Second baseman David Bell grounded a short and popped up to Ventura. Now feel playing him straight up. Borders is not going anywhere unless it's a hit and run. Right. Bell handles that bat pretty well. Well, we mentioned earlier he's had some big base hits for this ball club. I mean, some game winners. Yeah. Amazing. He was picked up on waivers. Cardinals released him. Look out. Breaking ball almost hit him. Double barreled activity for the Sox down in their pen as Bobby Howery and the Southpaw Brian Ward. And those are not Elvis Knight chops, those are his. Yeah, they are. That ball hit hard. That's trouble. Albert cannot get this one. Down into the corner. They will hold Borders at third. So here come the Indians. Nobody out. And on second, third. Well, the number eight and nine guys in Mike Hargrove's lineup getting the job done. Fastball down and in. Well, he just drops the head on it right there. Head perfectly there on contact. Short, quick swing. One hop to the wall. And here comes Kenny Lofton. Two singles, two hard singles, and a homer. 
Lofton's got his average up to 284. So Kruder going out maybe to stall for a little bit of time. He's hot. Tonight. And here comes. The skipper Jerry Manuel. You want to go get Ward? I think so. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Going to get Howie. So he's going to get the hard throwing right hander Bobby Howie. Our first Ameritech call to the pen, and we'll be back. Here's the pitch, Sox fans. Fox Sports Chicago and TCI present the 1998 Future Sox Contest. Just take a photo of your child, eight years old or younger, in white socks apparel and a baseball pose. Include their name, age, address, and phone number, and send it to Future Sox in care of Fox Sports Chicago, 350 North Orleans Street, Suite S1100, Chicago, Illinois, 60654. You know the signs, because this is a real steal. And make sure to enter your little slugger before their chance is gone. Was fascination I know seeing you alone with the moonlight Then I touched your hand and next moment I kissed you. This couple danced the night away every Friday for 37 years. Calm Ed, what do you do with your power? We are back and not a good situation if you're a White Sox fan. Jim Parquet worked into the seventh inning, but a couple of hits have put two runners in scoring position, and Jerry Manuel goes to the bullpen and brings out Bobby Howry, the hard throwing young right hander. 13 games, 0 and 1, a 4.70 earned run average. In 15 and a third, he's given up 15 hits, eight walks, and nine strikeouts. So Bobby, we'll see what they do with Lofton. Omar Vizquel is on deck, and then Manny Ramirez. Vizquel a switch hitter. Then you got the right-handed hitting Ramirez and the left-handed hitting Tommy. So Mike Hargrove has staggered his lineup. So here we go. Corners in close. And Kenny Lofton. There's that good late movement. On the fastball from Bobby Howard. Good late movement on the fastball and good late breakage on his slider. He's going to have to make pitches like that to get out of this inning. Well, if he wasn't going to bring in Ward, then he's. Howard has got to be going corner out, corner in. Are trying to. Very quickly, he's nothing in two. So Bobby, with a fastball slider, an occasional curve, which is real good, give that hitter a different slant, a different look at the speed. And 
That breaking ball. Nice block by Cruder. Kevin in front of him. So Pat Borders. He's runner at third and David Bell at second. You're just tuning in. Indians with a run in the third. That was a homer by Lofton. Sox tied it up in the fourth. Indians took the lead in the sixth. And then Albert Bell's 28th homer tied at last inning. Durham and Caruso halfway on the one two count. It's two and two. Tell you what, Way Lofton's been swinging the bat tonight. I got to try to bust him inside. Yeah. Lumpy. Both pitches. Either a hard slider in there or the fastball. Now they move inside. Ate him up. He did it. Good pitch by Howard. He just absolutely broke his bat. Ate him up and a big out. Oh, that was nasty. 93 mile an hour fastball in on the hands and up. Kenny Lofton just couldn't get it there. Look where he makes contact. Back in his swing. Kenny's dropped his hands a little bit there too. It's tough to get him back up to hit that high heat. And Nardi Contreras once again out of the dugout. As Vizquel, the switch hitter, he's 0 for 2 now to strike out a walk and hit into a 4 6 fielder's choice. Vizquel in situations like this, really a tough out. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's a real competitive hitter. You know, he's hitting 290, so you always talk about his defense. But he will drive in the big run. Look at this. He's leading the club with a 333 batting average in situations just like this. Hello, Newman. <laughs> So Robin's going to relay some information around, and here we go. A tough cookie in a tough spot. Yes. Good fastball. Oh, yeah. Talk about Bobby Howery. He got a chance to be something special. Yeah, Bobby. Uh He's, well, as you mentioned, he's got that fastball that can be overpowering with movement and a hard slider and complement it with a curve. That's not too shabby. Yeah, you'd much rather, from a hitting standpoint, hitting against somebody throwing 95 or 96 who's dead straight. Oh, yeah. And hitting off Howard, he's throwing 92, 93 with good movement, good late movement. Oh, somebody missed the sign. This kill missed the sign. And they put the tag on Borders. He's out. Thank you. Surprised that they would put this on. I am too. I'd be very surprised. Yeah. I think evidently Omar was as well. Yes. Now they're saying. Borders is saying that Cooter didn't tag him. Yeah, he did. He tagged him with the ball. Wow. That's outside. Two balls and a strike. Now you're gonna know it was Vizquel who missed it because Newman, he's sitting right there. He's gonna tell it. Oh yeah, yeah, he's telling go or whatever. Yeah, he's gonna walk up to him and tell him. Right. It squeezes on right this pitch. You gotta do that. There's a good strike. So the count now evens at two. Jeez. See what Cruder wants to try to do. Here's the payoff. Yes, he's gone. What a job by Bobby Howard. 
mercy. Second, third, nobody out. He leaves him right there. With the exception of the missed squeeze, we will go to the seventh inning stretch, tied at two. BF Goodrich presents this Fox Sports News Sports Break. Alongside Lauren Sanchez, I'm Tom Kirkland of Fox Sports News with this sports break. American Brian Watts fired a four under 66. He has a one-shot lead over three others, including Tiger Woods after round two at the British. And the Pirates traded right-hander Esteban Loiza to the Rangers for pitcher Todd Van Poppel and a minor leaguer. News scores and highlights nightly on Fox Sports News. On your Fox Sports Net Cable channel. Select road. Validating tires. What kind of road can you drive on with BF Goodrich tires? Approved. Enjoy. Any road you choose. BF Goodrich tires. Take control. Why are these things called answering machines? They don't have all the answers. They can't tell me who was on call waiting while I was talking to my boss, or if anyone called while I was online. That's why I'm getting Voicemail 98. It's from Ameritech. It takes messages all the time. You don't. Voicemail 98 from Ameritech is just $4.95 a month. Call now and get a 30-day money-back guarantee. There's nothing to lose. Get the message? I'm finally getting mine. What a job by the 23-year-old right-hander Bobby Howery coming in and I'm telling you, second, third, nobody out. And the key pitch in that whole sequence to all those hitters was the fastball in on Lofton. No doubt about it. You're talking about some tough hitters, too. You're looking at Lofton and Omar Vizcal, who have been great in situations like that throughout their career. So Bobby, Lord have mercy. That was just a terrific effort. Stay right there, kid. Don't change a thing as he blows away this gal. This. Wow. Look at the movement. That ball just kept <laughs> sailing away. That's where we're talking about movement. He's not turning it over either. That's just his natural delivery. You don't turn over 93 mile an hour fastballs. Will Cordero, Mike Cameron, Chad Cruder to face Charles Nagy. Takes that pitch outside. Cordero one for two and an infield single back in the second inning. That was exciting. That really that was one of the highlights of the year right there. That was exciting. Man. Inside strike. They even accounted one. Curveball. No chance. And the count one and two. Mentioned that Bobby Howard certainly has the best arm coming out of our bullpen. And he's the guy that probably is going to take over. Whether it be next year, the year after, whenever, as there's a grounder. Vizquel, as we mentioned, only one error all season. Throws him out. But he has got a chance. Works construction in the offseason. That's right. There's a big, raw bone young man. You know he's strong. Here's Mike. He has struck out and grounded the third. Good breaking ball from Maggie. If you're just tuning in, Sox had the same situation. That was back in the fourth inning. They had one run in, men on second, third, nobody out. And Nagy left him right there. There's a fastball strike. Hundred and five pitches, he's given up just five hits, two runs, a couple of walks, and three strikeouts. Home run by Bell. Big in the bottom of the sixth inning. Activity down in the Cleveland pen. His right hander Paul Shuey. Off the end of the bat, David Bell. Now the ball takes a funny hop and he can't handle it. 
That'll be a base hit. That ball was some kind of spinning both ways going out there to David. Yeah, it looked like Mike hit this one off the end of the bat. Yes, it did. By the pitcher, Charles Nagy. And watch. Yeah, it did. It hit the cut of the grass right there and spun the opposite way, adding a little bit more difficulty to that. That's a real tough play. He wouldn't have got him anyway. No. No, he wouldn't have got him. No chance. Come on, Mike, steal it. He's got 15 of them. Here's Critter, struck out and grounded to second. Sox have one stolen base in this game tonight. The only one they've tried, that was Ray Durham. In the third inning picked up his 22nd. Sox now with 73 thefts on the season. Cleveland has 74. There goes Cameron. Got a perfect pitch to throw him out on, and he didn't get it. Good slide. The slide got it for him right there. Boy, Borders was really quick out of the shoot right there. Well, you got to take your hat off to the Cleveland catcher. It's Mike Cameron. Pretty good jump, not his best. Boy, and he went to the outside part of the bag with his body and got his hand in on the inside. You see Borders in perfect throwing position. Well, maybe just a little bit out. Yeah, he was in there. Good call. Well, Eric Cooper, the fire at second base in perfect position to make it. Now knock him in. 2 and 0. Oh. He's in there. He goes in feet first. He is gone goose. That's probably right. Breaking ball just off the plate. So a 3 0 count with Durham on deck. Taking all away. Turn him around. That ball hit hard in the center. Lofton going back. He's there, makes the catch, so Cameron will tag. He'll move on in the third, and that's out number two. Well, Kenny Lofton covers a lot of ground out there in center field. Well, it's tough to hit it. Hit it by him, especially over his head. Chad Cooter, as you mentioned, had a real good pass at that one, but to the wrong spot, wrong guy. Now the specter of the bunt as Tommy well off the bag. But even with it. Fryman even with the bag off the line at third. Some hit the deck out there in center field Lofton's going to have to get it. A cup. Great. Popped up to Lofton in the first. He walked, stole second, and the third. Struck out in the fifth. Well, this is when that intimidation of the speed can really create a lot more area for you to get a base hit in. Yes. That ball gets away from Borders. Here comes Cameron. He scores. Sox lead it three to two. You know, one of the things we always talked about Pat Borders was his ability to block balls in the dirt. Now here's that breaking ball down and in. 
And Pat tries to get his body over. That pitch was so far inside, he wasn't able to do it. So Cameron able to sprint home with the lead run. But he had so many guys at Toronto that threw balls in the dirt. Oh, my. A bullet right to Fryman. A hang whooping for Durham, but the Sox manufacture a run right here and we'll go to the top of the eighth inning. Good guys on top by one. Southwest Airlines, with fares so low you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. Flying to the New England area for business? If these 12 reasons don't convince you to fly Southwest Airlines to Providence or Manchester, maybe this will. Call 1-800-I-FLY-SWA. You are now free to move about the country. So, you want to see my Discover Card statement? I am very, very prissy. Put up or shut up! I love to be pampered. I go have my hair done. I love to go have my nails done, have pedicures, manicures. My biggest weakness would have to be shoes. Hmm. Cashback bonus award really floats my boat. How many credit cards make a statement like that? I am definitely a shopaholic. It pays to discover. Accepted where you see the Nova sign. Look inside a new Dodge Ram conversion van and you'll find a virtual home on wheels. But take away features like the video system, captain's chairs, and plush interior, and you'll find the remarkable new Dodge Ram van with a more powerful Magnum V8 and strong unibody construction. After all, even a home on wheels should be built on a solid foundation. And with $1,500 cash back, you can start construction right away. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. And a reminder, you can see game two of the Sox Indian series tomorrow as part of Fox Saturday Baseball. Now, John Snyder, 23-year-old rookie right-hander, looks for his third straight victory against Jim Tomey and the Tribe. It's the White Sox and Indians. Fox Saturday Baseball coverage begins at noon on WFLD Chicago or your local Fox station. Top of the eighth inning, three runs, six hits, no errors for the Sox, two runs, nine hits, and one arrow for the Indians. It'll be Ramirez, Tommy, and Fryman to face Bobby Howry. Ninety-two for three tonight with a run scored. It's that fastball up high, and he made a good play. Coming off the bat of the big hurt broke back recovered came in and made the catch. That's foul right side stay in here. Stay Darrow no back into the third row. Taking some other scores for you top of the ninth at Toronto Blue Jays hurting the Yankees nine to three. It's Clemens against David Wells. Tigers beat the Red Sox six to four in Detroit. Bottom of the fifth down at the ballpark in Arlington. Devil Rays leading the Rangers four to two. Baltimore scored one in the top of the first at Anaheim. Kansas City scored three in the top of the first at Seattle. And later on, Minnesota at Oakland. Cruder to the outside. Another fastball. So the count one and two activity down in the Sox pen right hander Billy Seamus at five finals over in the National League the Cubs beat the fighting fish six to one Sammy Sosa his 36th homer Padres handed it to the Reds 13 to three at Synergy Field Pittsburgh five Montreal one Atlanta beat the Brewers four to one down at the, Turner Field the Braves win the Braves win there's a breaking ball foul down Mets shut out the Phillies six to nothing at Shea. Houston nine San Francisco five top of the ninth at the Astrodome Cardinals leading the Dodgers three to one bottom of the eighth in St. Louis Mark McGuire his forty first home and Arizona leading Colorado one nothing still hitting in the bottom of the first inning
ate him up right there. Man, good pitch. Yes. Yeah, great location right there. Just ties him up. You wish he could have put that one in play. Exactly. You wish he'd have hit that one. Lost one or two fingernails and broke his back. Yeah. It wouldn't have gone very far. Two balls, two strikes. Manny Ramirez. Boy, he's solid. Offensive. Oh, yeah. You know, since he's been in this league, he has been so impressive for a youngster in knowing the strike zone. Came in almost a dead high fastball hitter, moved it down, became a good low ball hitter. Now it looks like he can handle them both. Yeah. High in the right field, Ardonias. He's got room. In foul territory. Ooh. Well, seems to be blowing everything far. I thought that ball was going to be fair off the bat. But that's good. And you, we're calling on all Sox fans. You can come to the Old Navy, Old Navy grand opening event. This is Thursday, July 30th at Washington and State Street in Chicago. You'll meet White Sox players Ray Durham and Mike Caruso from noon to 1.30. You will. Here's the dangerous Tommy. Parquet really made some good pitches on him. Struck him out twice, popped him up once. Look at that. That's an ace right yeah. there. Two and another count. And that St. Louis four to one lead now over the Dodgers. Make that number 41 and 42 for Mark McGuire. Good. He of the 2500 vision, McGuire's. 2500. That's unbelievable. Oh, mercy. Howry. You know, the first thing that pressures about Bobby Howry, first of all, is his, his arm. That's number one. The next thing that pressures about him is he just looks like he's completely fearless out Yeah, there. he's getting after it. He looks like he just wants to get somebody up there, get them out, get somebody else in. Comes right at you. Yes. He is not tentative. No. Yes. Right on the outside corner. A beauty. A late movement. Two and two. Yeah, he just fills his glove up again. It's that late movement. They're going to come right at him again. Good fastball hitter. Here it is. That's outside. And the count goes full. The payoff. Got it. Aced him. Two down. Man. Jim Tomey's had a real tough night trying to get anything that he can handle. And he just paints him on the outside corner. It's been a while since we said one. See one guy have that many good pitches made on him. Yeah. 92 right there. Here's Fryman. Walk, struck out, and single. Slider. That was quick. Or a sailor. <laughs> yeah, well, I think. I think it was a slider. Hard, yeah. hard slider.
Well that's a night right there you just got to tip your cap. That's upstairs and the count one and one. one. Another impressive thing about Tommy too is that even if he thinks it's outside or it's a bad pitch boy he just goes right back to the dugout. Yeah. Very seldom you ever see him argue with an umpire. Ooh. Made him a little bit of a mistake right there. Got away with it when you're throwing that well. Fly hard throwers with good movement really have a tremendous advantage. Well, they'll get away with a lot more exactly. pitches. Exactly. Chad to the outside. Slider. Priman has been swinging the bat well. In this situation right here, you got him two and two in a three two ball game, top of the eighth inning. If you can, you want to try to keep the ball away from him. So if he beats you, he's going to have to beat you the opposite field. Took a little something off right there. I don't ever recall seeing Fryman, with the exception of the one home run he hit against us at Tiger Stadium, go deep to the opposite field. No, and you think after with, with playing at Tiger Stadium, you'd see that in yep. highlight films and stuff too, because that's the easiest homer in baseball. Yeah. Aced it. He's gone. He'll grab some bench. A beautiful job by Bobby Howard. And we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Three, two socks. When we spread the wheels out a bit, Move the windshield forward a tad, lower the step up height a skosh, and widen the aisle a smidgen, we created a caravan with 32 more cubic feet of room. It's remarkable what a few alterations will do. Now get up to $1,500 cash back on Dodge Caravan. Suddenly I'm overtaken by thoughts of the fire. I hear Peter Novak's thundering heartbeat as he motors downfield with defenders in tow. I hear Roman Kozetsky's lungs contracting and expanding. When I hold a soccer ball close to me, I can feel it all. Oh, it's kicking. Zach Thornton will protect the net as the fire clash with San Jose. Next Wednesday at 10, catch Chicago Fire Soccer on Fox Sports Chicago. My son says that's his. Hey, you want a great deal? Every Monday at Comiskey Park, all Sox tickets are half priced. Now, that doesn't mean you get half the seat. It means that all tickets at Comiskey Park for every Monday home game are half priced. So that means you get two for one, three for one and a half, four for two. Seventy-four for the price of thirty-seven. The central leading tribe come to town. Monday night at 6.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. Won't you hear me? Feel like I'm slipping away. Hey. Fox Sports Chicago's coverage of Chicago White Sox baseball is brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places. The new Dodge. From cars to minivans to trucks. It's about change. The new Dodge. Discover card. It pays to discover. Accepted where you see the Nobis sign. And by Geico Direct, the sensible alternative. We are into the bottom of the eighth inning. Just a hog, a hog, a burning. Three, two good guys. Trent Carlini itself is not here at Comiskey Park. 27,733 in attendance. Going to watch Trent do a lot of numbers on Elvis and also after that. A spectacular fireworks display. Been a, even though there are a lot of Cleveland fans in attendance, this has still been a great crowd. Our crowds have been great. Oh, it's been terrific, yeah. There's Paul Shuey. Boy, 188 earned run average in 13 games. That's good. Whew. Mike Caruso will lead it off. Three times he has grounded out. Twice to second. Fouls that one straight back and once to short. Tra tragic accident to Mike's best friend two days ago. Killed in a car wreck. Mike 
Mike did not play yesterday. Bill one pitch. Activity down in the Cleveland pen. Double barrel style. Eric Plunk and Paul Ossimach. A couple of big guys right there. Ossimach is big and just show you how big Plunk is. That's got a piece of borders. One and two to count. Yeah, the guy that got out there is no baby either. Paul Shuey is 6'3, 215 pounder. Guy was the Indians first round draft pick in 1992 second overall in that draft so that you know they had to think a whole lot of him Wimpy he has a good he had a good arm he yes. still does but he had some problems with it trying to come back first time we saw Shuey I mean he could rush it up there with the best of them as you look at Matt Karchner. Down ball. This scale is he smooth. Yeah. He is just incredible. That was not an easy play right there. He made it look like silk. And he gets himself in such great position. Yes. Given the chance. Look at the glove. Down low. Everything all in one mode. He has terrific rhythm in his defense. Yeah. Yeah, everything is so much in sync. There's no herky jerkiness no about it. No staccato movement. Yeah, and and everything. And he's always in perfect throwing position. Breaking ball to Big Frank. Frank, 0 for 2, but he has walked and he has scored. One and one the count. Okay, two balls and a strike. Fastball inside half. The 2 2 pitch. Breaking ball frozen. Frank knew it. Good hook. Two gone. That's a heck of a curveball right here from Shuey. Boy, a downer. Boy, Frank gives with it. And it is right there. Watch where it crosses home. Boy, boy, everything collapses. What you call getting locked up. Yeah. And let's check out our Carter Lumber Lumberman of the game. There he is. That single is 28th homer of the year and the 300th of his career. Takes that breaking ball outside. And if you missed it in the sixth inning, that tied the ball game up. You saw Nagy. He knew. Looks at Joe Brayton says, give me another one. Two and oh the count. Way outside, he's hacking. Albert with ten homers in his last ten ball games. Look at this. <laughs> That's two a game. You know, one guy we forgot about that was hotter than Albert there for a while was Sammy Sosa. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we forgot about Sammy. Oh, wow. Well, we didn't see him every day, though. No. There's a strike, and the count goes full. 
That's right. That's the way you put the question. Have you ever seen anybody? Yeah, we didn't see Sammy. No. All the time. Albert. Hard to be what he's done. He's going to hook him. 3 2. Albert hits it deep into center field. Get out. Lofton is back on the track. Makes the catch. And that'll retire the side. We'll go to the ninth. Good guys lead it by one. What do you get when you add up all Dodge Neon's horsepower, plus all of its interior room, both of which are greater than you'll find here, then subtract a hefty $1,500 cash back, hit total, and Neon is yours for under ten five. Or instead of cash back, choose low 1.9 financing. Another way to save. And as they say, the numbers speak for themselves. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. This gentleman got the door for 42 people. Comment. What do you do with your power? Saturday and Sunday, July 18th and 19th at Route 66 Raceway. Same monster trucks. In a side-by-side -side track race on the specially built obstacle course. Plus, see Walker Evans and others race in their championship off-road racing trucks on the new one-mile off-road course. At Route 66 Raceway, gates open at 8 a.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. Sunday. Bring the whole family July 18th and 19th to Route 66 Raceway, a quarter mile to glory. This copyrighted telecast of Major League Baseball may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of the Chicago White Sox and Fox Sports Chicago. And a reminder tonight on Fox Sports News after our ball game, it will be the Pirates Expos Brawl. If it's on there, it's got to be a good one, I guess. British Open, round two. They had a tough day over there, the players, with the weather. And the home run race is still hot, as we mentioned. If you're just tuning in, Mark McGuire with two tonight has 42. Sammy Sosa with one had 36. And right now, let's check out our Dodge drive of the game. Robin Ventura. Coming in the fourth inning. For that, you get Frank Thomas. And look at the throw by Witten. That's our Dodge drive of the game as Mark Witten will lead it off against Matt Karchner. Thanks. Ball one up high. Witten one for three with an RBI. He had a hack right there. Well, he's more apt to hit that fastball out of here down low. If you look at Karchner's numbers, there's 28 hits allowed in 32 and two thirds. Matt, a little bit of control problem with 17 walks, 28 strikeouts. Witten wants to drop the head of the bat on the ball. Now field deep, spread out. And there's that pitch down low. Well, you get Albert with his 28th homer, the 300th of his career. Our Dodge drive of the game, the big double by Ventura, but the real hero so far in this ball game has been Bobby Howard. Without a doubt. Yeah. Three and one. Howery retired all five he faced he came on if you're just joining us in the seventh inning then on second third and that's ball four. They did not score one two three inning in the eighth. What a magnificent job picking up three strikeouts Vizquel Tony and Frank. So the leadoff man aboard, the dreaded leadoff walk. Well, and you got David Justice up to the plate. You got some guys that can swing the bat off that bench too. 
Giles on deck. Ball gets away from Cooter, but no advance by Mark Witt. Once again, Billy Seema starting to throw. Nardi Contreras out. And a reminder the producer director for Chicago White Sox baseball on Fox Sports Chicago is James A. Angio. The associate producer is Dave Ross. Our assistant director is Kathy Mundy. Our stage manager is soon to be blonde, the mayor, Mean Joe Groove. And our production manager is Moheen Ramsey. Talking about blondes, we were thinking maybe Wimpy would look good in some blonde hair. Wow. Wimpy, that is you. I mean, that is you, Wimpy Lou. Like a Charlie Manson face there. <laughs> Charlie is that why you told me to stand that. up early? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I mean, never to listen to anything you guys say again. Almost got away from Cooter right there. So Karchner home plate jumping around on him. The bad thing about it, besides the walk or the counts. Yeah. Well, you know, Matt's confidence has got to be at a, yeah. at a low right now, too. So, you know, that, that, that's got to come into play here. A chopper. Jeez. Karchner. Very quickly over to Cardero, so they get the out at first with Witten in scoring position. Boy, not much from David Justice tonight. It's about the, as bad as we have seen him swing the bat in a Cleveland uniform. He's just pulling off everything tonight. So Brian Giles coming out to hit for Pat Borders, who was one for three this evening. Giles, tough little cookie too. Oh, he's tough out. Yep. One of the reasons being short, quick swing. There are his numbers: 271, 11, and 39. There's a shot. Durham cannot come up with it. This ball game is going to be tied. There's that short, quick swing for the dreaded leadoff walk. Fastball is right there. Man, and he just rips it. Ray Durham, a no diving chance. effort, really had no chance. That ball just whistled right on by him. So, as you mentioned, the leadoff walk once again comes up to burn. So, Billy Seamus comes on, and we'll be back. Fox Sports News, prime time. When they hit the road, they feel right at home. Tonight, a look at baseball's road warriors. What makes them so tough when they play away? Only on Fox Sports News Primetime. I want boom, dot, boom, boom. Why do you want to look at my Discover card statement? It's mine. I live in New York City. Of course, I love the theater. Bring in the noise. You know, it's my favorite show. I go there as often as I can, trying to steal another step. They make my kids want me to be more risky. Come to Gaston stuff is, you know, it's risky. I want a cash back bonus. How many credit cards make a statement like that? It pays to discover. Accepted where you see the Nova sign. 
Surge, Spikes, Sets, Saves, Slams, Sun, Sand, Action. This summer, grab your shades and catch the ABP Tour, the hottest hits on the beach. Matt Gartner came on to try to nail it down in the 3-2 lead, walks. Mark Whitten got justice on a high chopper. And then the solid smash, the base hit by Brian Giles, and we got ourselves a 3-3 ball game with Billy Seamus coming off. Here's the numbers on Seamus, 34 games, 3-3. Three and three. He's got seven saves, a 2-3-4 earned run average. Just 25 hits and 42 and a third. That's real good, 14 walks, 31 strikeouts. And he's been real good in his last seven times out there. Nine and two-thirds, giving up just two hits. No runs, ten strikeouts, two walks, and he has four saves. David Bell, one, four, three, a double. There's a good strike and a count nothing and one. Brian Giles six for ten in stolen bases. Three six and zero oh for the Sox three ten and one. For the tribe in case you're looking to the Sox ninth Ventura Ordonez and Cordero. A little bit low, I guess. Maybe you see now, Asamacher has been joined by Mike Jackson. He of the great slider Jacksons. It's wicked. An out, a ball, a strike. Giles just a decent lead as there's a comeback. What a play by Seamus as Caruso. Dodges him, turns it over, and it'll do it. But Indians come up with a run. We'll go to the bottom of the night, tied at three. Isn't that Ann Werner over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's on the game room with Chet. <laughs> hey, Cooley, why don't you go over there and talk to her? Well, may maybe I will. Get over there, man. <clears throat> Get in there. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, I was just wondering if maybe you'd like to um, tell me how many RBIs Frank Thomas had last season? 125. Good. Thanks. Sure. <clears throat> so? I got a number. There's an island where the waters are still, where the only thing you have to do is lie on your back, watching the waves rush in and out all day long and where you'll need to go to recover after you return from our trip enter the heineken seek a true adventure sweepstakes and you can win a trip to costa rica thailand mexico or south africa and while you're at it you might want to book your recovery vacation what do you get when you add up all dodge neon's horsepower plus all of its interior room both of which are greater than you'll find here, then subtract a hefty $1,500 cash back, hit total, and Neon is yours for under 10 dollars Or instead of cash back, choose low 1.9 financing. Another way to save. And as they say, the numbers speak for themselves. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Got ourselves a 3-3 tie here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And moving in behind the plate for Pat Borders, it'll be Sandy Alomar. So the walk, and he gets over on the high chopper by Justice. Brian Giles knocked in Witten, and this game is tied. Robin Ventura will lead it off as we take another look at this beautiful double play. Good play by Seamus and a good 
dodge by Mike Caruso. There's Bell with a hot comebacker. Nice pick. Now watch Mike right here get out of the way because they were getting after him. Oh, that was a great play. Terrific job by Caruso. Oh, yeah. Sidestepping that runner. Robin is two for three. Takes that curveball down low. Now feel straight up, spread out. Ball hit deep. Way back. And I look up. You can't put it on the board. Yes. Robin Ventures, 12th home of the year, and the Sox win it. In one of the most exciting games we have seen all year long by a score of four to three and Whippy, he hurt it. He really did. He dived it up for this fastball, 93 miles an hour on the outer half, and just crushes it. He three for four tonight. You think the Sox just won the World Series? All right, that's the kind of emotion that you really want to see out of these guys. That's a great win. Lord have mercy. He didn't quite get it away enough as Robin just kills it into that right center field bleacher area. Wow, that's fun. So Ventura with three hits tonight, that RBI double and a game winning homer. And that home run re replay brought to you by ComEd, providing service for Northern Illinois customers for over 100 years. Wimpy, this is just, I'll tell you, this is the best ball game we've seen all year. Yeah, it really was. And you take your hat off to all the guys who participated, too. Bobby Howery pitched out of that real tough situation. Second and third, nobody out late in the ball game. And he just got three tough outs. And that was very instrumental. Albert Bell, of course, the homer. But Robin Ventura sealing the game right there with that tremendous shot to right center. And not to be forgotten either in rookie Jim Parquet's yes. ninth start of the season. Jimmy went six innings giving up two runs and he really pitched well. So a huge crowd tonight for us has been 27,733. Elvis Knight and these fans are going to stick around and see a lot of more excitement with that and also the spectacular fireworks show. So the Sox win this one by a score of four to three. And a reminder, be sure and join us Sunday when the Sox host the Indians from Comiskey Park. Game time is one with a game movement 1230. Coming up next, Fox Sports News. So for Tom Pichurik, Jim Angio, this is a Hawk Ken Harrelson. So long, everybody. You've been watching Chicago White Sox baseball coverage on Fox Sports Chicago, your home of Fox Sports Net.